Well, fortunately, the cloud cover stayed today, so I can get out here and hunt. It's been in the 90s here in North Carolina. Very uncomfortable, very hot and humid, but I'm out here early this morning, and I got a kind of an iffy signal here, but I dug it anyway. It was about seven inches down. I, I see a, an edge or a rim of something down here, gang. I don't know if you can see that or not. Something's sticking out there. I don't know if we got jewelry or if it's just a stupid pull tab. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's an earring. Yeah. It's an earring. All right. Well, I don't know if that's going to be silver. Probably not. But I'll clean it up and look for any markings. And then, of course, there might be another one around here, too. I'll definitely do a, a scan with the coil around here, see if we can't find the pair. All right, pretty cool. Take that. Well, we got something cool here. I'm not sure what it is, but it sounded like a quarter, so stuck the shovel in the ground and saw it's definitely not a quarter. Looks like we got ourselves a motorcycle. So eat. All right. <laughs> Never know what you'll find. All right, on to the next. And right next to the hot rod motorcycle, we have, oh, it's a little bigger. An airplane. All right, ran into a little toy stash here, gang. Uh-oh, looks like his wing got shaved by the lawnmower. Oh well, still a cool find. On to the next. Well, most people find a cache of coins, and looks like I'm gonna find a cache of toys today. Here's another one. I mean, these are all within three feet of each other, guys. <laughs> another hot rod looking toy. Everything's right on the surface, so nothing's real deep or valuable, I'm sure, but anyhow, still kind of cool to find them. Sweet. All right. Let's see what else I can find in here. And in this hole, the broken key. It's like a house key. Yep, find a lot of keys. All right, on to the next. And about 10 feet away from the last key, another key. This one's a little more intact. Looks a little older. I can clean that up. Maybe there's a logo on there. Looks like it. Yeah, all right, I'll turn this off, clean it up, and give you guys a look. Okay, guys, here's another real deep penny signal. And I thought it was a bottle cap at first, and honestly, I'm not sure what it is yet. There's some verbiage on the top of it there and it looks fairly old so I thought I'd take it home and clean it up a little bit and see what it is but anyway seven probably seven inches down very nice all right we'll see you at the next hole hey everyone I just wanted to do a quick wrap up on today's finds I had some really unique finds today it was a great hunt so I just wanted to do a quick wrap up here I've been hunting in a, a large field next to an elementary school. There's some history there. Uh, there's used to be some homes in this field about a hundred years ago. So I never really know what I'm going to find, but it's a lot of fun. In that field, I've been using that 13-inch ultimate coil on my E-Track, which really allows me to cover a lot of ground and get nice depth. It's not a real trashy spot. It's, there's not a lot of garbage there, but of course I did pull a, a lot of garbage out with me. Um, so just to go over the, the finds for the day, this is the clad, obviously. One of the nickels is from 1960, so that was pretty cool. The key was uh, from a Ford vehicle. Uh, nothing really spectacular about that, but I hung on to it anyway. Those little Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars are a lot of fun to find. I used to collect them when I was a kid, so it's pretty neat to dig those up. This was a Matchbox product. This is a Hot Wheels. And then this one was made by Mattel for McDonald's, so it's probably from a Happy Meal. Um, there's a 22 bullet that I found. There is a lot of bullets and bullet casings out there in this field for whatever reason. I think it used to be a sand pit, at least according to the locals in that area. The uh, cap, or the unknown object that I found, is actually um, the top of, for a medical product. And the picture, I know, is real hard to read the text, but anyway, it says uh, uh, General 
drug company distributors, uh, New York, New York, and it lists the active ingredients as uh, aspirin, cinnamon, fedrine, and caffeine. And then there's dosage instructions on there. So in my mind, that's like a modern-day 5-hour energy or Red Bull. Anyway, I thought that was really neat. It's got to be at least 50 years old. I'm going to see if I can research that a little bit more and find out a little more about the product that was in there. Um, interestingly enough, it gave me a real nice uh, penny signal. I thought it might have been like a deep wheat penny, but as you can see, that, that hole was, was quite a bit deeper than, than 7 inches or so. Um, the bullet comes up as um, like a 1229, 1230 and it's real solid and real consistent, so I always dig those. And, of course, this was the highlight of my hunt today. I found out that that was sterling silver. That was really, really cool. Um, this rang up at like a 1441. And so I was thinking, again, deep wheat penny. And was really surprised to, to pull that out and find out it was sterling. But, anyhow, it was a great hunt. It was a lot of fun. I'm just glad and very fortunate to be able to get out in North Carolina when it's, when it's this hot. Probably not going to be hunting a lot when it's this hot and humid, guys, but I do thank you for watching. I appreciate your subscribing, and I wish you all happy hunting and best of luck.